Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And today's lesson is Duly Do. And I cannot pronounce the girl's name who's done this. It's in a language that I just can't pronounce. So I will put it up here and you can give it a try. But it's a great tangle. And I've done it on gray, a little, ground, a little round tile and a square one and shaded it with um, a little black. Two different variations. So uh, let's get right on with the lesson. And I'm going to demo this or teach this on a, a bookmark because I it's got a little linear uh, aspect to it and then I can show you two, two different ways. And I'm going to start in the center of my little bookmark. It looks like I have two here. And um, so let's put it down. And I'm going to start with a, a Micron 01, no string or border. This is kind of a freehand one. And I'm going to start with a V shape. But this is a one-stroke tangle. So I'm not going to lift my pen. And then I'm going to come back to this point. And I'm actually just making V's. But they're little, they've got little spiky. So you can see that I've just got a little V shape. And my V's can get smaller as I go up, or they can stay the same. I just kind of let mine do their own thing. And that is duly do. You can come back to the first here and make a little line in. And if you do that, you can come back and make this a two-stroke tangle by coming back from this point and filling in. And I'll show you what you can accomplish. little twist on Dooley Doo. So there we have. Now if you come back and you fill in you are going to get another look from Dooley Doo. Do not press hard with your pen. You want to have a very light touch. And there we have Do We Do with a little twist. I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to do Dooley Do one more time without the extra little step in it. I make my V, and I'm just going to come back and touch. If you give your V a little rounded, you're going to get a little different look. So if I give it a little curve to it, which is my nature to give a little curve. I like the rounder tangles, but I love this one stroke tangle. You can even give a little curve to one side. You can see how I've kind of made it go to one side. And I, I've I've kind of forced it to go there. And that really is duly do. And if you like this simplified one, you can always come back in here. And for me to give it that little drama, I might put some little beads in here, some little just round circles, maybe nestle of three, and maybe even fill in one of those three so I have a little drama on it.
and that gives it a little drama. You can come in with a little shading and shade these. And when I shade, I like to just shade right here with my pencil. It's kind of a, a zigzag going up. If you look at it, it's, you've just got a little zigzag going up. Very little graphite on here. Then take a clean shading stump. And if you haven't, um, I mean, if you haven't used it, you're fine. If you haven't seen me clean it, is what I'm going to say. You just take an emery board and clean it. There we go. I blew that off of there. And now we're just going to blend that graphite up in there. This is the easiest way to get some shading. If you're not real good at blending graphite with a pencil, you're going to love the shading stuff. It just does a beautiful job. Helps you get a little, that little dark line and then progressively out lighter. I now have an online store at inkadoodle.com and you can access the online store and get some of the tiles I use in my videos and some of the pens if you're having a hard time getting them. But you can go to Inkadoodle store at inkadoodle.com. I will put a link at the bottom of this video for that. Now, if I could not leave this one like this, this is way too blank for me. So I could come back and I could add, oh, I about picked up an 05 pen. I could add some smaller little dooly doos. On either side. You see how I can make it kind of curve and I can make it small. It's just a beautiful tangle. You can even make a little, at the end, a little growth coming out of there. That's another way to kind of end it. And I will embellish this some more. But there you have Dooley Doo. And here I did it on a round gray tile. And I just did it from the center. I put a little dot in the center. Then made my V's going out with a little fescue and some circles. Here I did the variation with a little dark on just a slightly darker um, gray tile. This is a lot lighter weight paper. Um, it's probably only um, 65 pounds uh, weight paper, but it's beautiful. And you can get the round gray ones on my um, Inkadoodle store. You can also get the pens, the Micron 01, in brown and in white. And you can also um, get a chalk pencil by General um, on the store. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy Dooley Doo, and have a fabulous day.